What's up guys, in this video we're gonna take a look at iOS 6 running on the iPad 2. A few of you asked me how well does it run, is it fast, is it laggy or not. So today we are gonna take a look, let me just show you that this is indeed iOS 6. As you can see here it's 6.1.2. So some new features that we have are do not uh, disturb. They just added uh, the do not disturb function which is uh, basically like it turns your uh, phone or iPad or iPod touch to silent mode from time if you turn it on to schedule so it turns it like to silent mode from let's say 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. anyway uh, other new features we have uh, privacy your, your private stuff nothing else of course we don't have the YouTube app and the maps the maps is the Apple maps as you can see here which is okay I would say it's not that bad as they describe it maybe they fixed some things and the YouTube app that I use is the YouTube by uh, Google that is available in the App Store. Yep. Anyway, is it fast? Uh, yes, it is. Is it worth upgrading from iOS 5.1.1? I would say definitely it's really fast I didn't feel any issues with it I have been using it for five days and it's amazing let me just show you how well does it run I will just try to open all the applications that I have and close it and see if it's still smooth They redesigned the Apple Store, so the App Store has a new looks, and you have the function to install and update without even exiting the App Store and going to the home screen and like watching that it's being installed. You don't have to do that anymore with iOS 6, which is kind of cool. So, okay, like after running a few apps, you can see that it's not that fast with the, uh, launching the apps, but I would say that uh, like scrolling from one app to another is really not that bad. Anyway, 
I guess that's enough apps. Let me just show you. As you can see here, a lot of apps in the background. And it's still smooth. So if you are asking yourself, is it worth the upgrade from iOS 5.1.1? It's definitely yes, you have to try it. But you should know if you want the old uh, YouTube app, you shouldn't uh, go to iOS 6, of course. And if you are a jailbreaker, you should upgrade now while it's still 6.1.2. Because in the future, when 6.1.3 will be released, uh, jailbreak will not be supported anymore, I guess. That's what I hear guys, don't take my word for it. Anyway, thank you for watching, please if you have any questions, post it in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next video.